playing with the unpredictable, influencing Earth's nature by fluctuating the ionosphere with climate technology could lead to another biblical flood. What the creators of cataclysms are doing to planet Earth and for what purpose until the great flood happens, it will not be clear. One thing is obvious, some are undoubtedly preparing another epochal dirty trick for humanity with catastrophic consequences. It could be for the entire planet and its population. Man has always been afraid of natural disasters and at the same time tried to control them. It's well known fact that the ringing of bells helps to fight hail. The spraying of ordinary cement in the clouds temporarily interrupts the rains. Due to the influence on the ionosphere, tsunamis and hurricanes can now be provoked. There is no official confirmation of the existence of military weather weapon technology. However, back in 1978, a convention was adopted to ban the negative impact on the climate, which was signed by the USSR and the USA, among others, but the weather battle seems to be going on. The U.S. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, issued a chilling statement. They said, inexplicable things are happening in the Earth's atmosphere. Every year in different regions of our planet, previously unknown atmospheric phenomena are observed. First of all, it concerns the color, shape, and composition of clouds. Lightning behaves extraordinary. The ozone layer is thinning in areas where it has not happened before. All this is very similar to the unprecedented use of climate weapons, they said. The trend towards the uncontrolled use of various types of weapons has been observed in recent decades, and this does not apply to backward African countries, but on the contrary, advanced, highly developed ones, every year more and more advanced and sophisticated types of weapons are being created, and this is not a secret or a surprise to anyone. Developers of non-traditional types of weapons do not stand still. Programs are being prepared to create weapons based on new physical principles, beam, gene, uh, psychophysical and wave. Military research institutes, design bureaus and labor laboratories continue to conduct research work in the creation of non-lethal weapons, that is one that does not kill, a, de a devices, for example, that can disable enemy electronics. A beam cannot stop tanks from distance. For a distance, knocks fighters, fighters or unmanned vehicle off course, and detonates radio-controlled mines. Climactic weapons, as a manifestation of higher power, have been known to mankind since biblical times. The Bible contains at least 50 examples of how the salvation of the righteous or the punishment of the guilty occurs as a result of cataclysms associated specifically with the weather. The global flood in various versions is, pre is present in almost all ancient and currently existing world religions known to us. Such is the historical nature of human knowledge. As soon as a person masters some knowledge or technology, he begins first of all to consider new opportunities from the point of view of military use. Attempts to create climate weapons have been carried out repeatedly, both in the United States and the USSR, Russia. U.S. chose Alaska as testing grounds in the ionosphere, where they use the HARP and HIPAA systems, and another similar one in Puerto Rico. In Europe, in Norway, two complexes for the study of ionosphere have been installed, which are used in the interest of the United States. There is a similar one in Peru, and from various sources, it's known that it is a, in a, a practically disbanded form. There are complexes of active influence in Nizhny Novgorod, in Tomsk, in Russia, on the basis of ionospheric station of Siberian Institute of Physics and Technology. In the Kharkov region and uh, in Tajikistan, information about them is not widely disseminated but strategic meteorological work in the form of research is being carried out. However, we're surprised by the fact that the use of climate weapons is being talked about publicly these days. And it's not so much our subjective opinion as a version of independent researchers. So in Austria in 2018, at a meeting of environmentalists, a report was made according to which strange type clouds 
form right above the harp installation. There is a lot of evidence that after the appearance of an artificial cloud in the sky, several planes flew up to it and sprayed an unknown substance. This alone is already alarming and prompts certain thoughts. The strange thing in the story is that the official request for the activities of the installation to the persons in charge of HARP projects always receive the same answer. This information is a priority, the property of the U.S. military department, and cannot be disclosed without the approval of the relevant persons. Naturally, as you have already understood, the Pentagon did not give such approval. Doesn't it seem strange that the military department supervises the work of the supposedly air conditioning system? Mankind inevitably develops its technologies for the sake of creating comfort and opening up new horizons, but at the same time more and more money is being invested not in creation but in destruction. If people don't stop then we will be stopped by nature, which already feels the need to intervene in the ugly activities of mankind. In recent years, snow has increasingly fallen in Africa, Southeast Asia is suffering from devastating floods and earthquakes, the islands of Oceania are underwater along with human settlements, droughts, downpours, tornadoes, mud floods, mud flows. All these are nothing compared to what can happen in the near future. Until now, scientists are arguing what the biblical flood, uh, was the biblical flood a real accord? We're sure it really did happen. Before the great flood, highly developed civilizations lived on earth. Moreover, they also sought to compete with each other destroying each other with powerful weapons. The planet was fed up with new scars and nuclear burns forming on its beautiful face and it set in motion the destructive power of water. All civilizations, cities, countries, technologies were washed away, everything that we could call an, a pinnacle of progress. The remnants of humanity were thrown back thousands of years of development in order to start their journey again. Our civilization can play out with climate and other types of weapons and be washed away like Lemuria, Atlantis, and Hyperborea once was. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.